So you have an order to administer some IV fluids and you need to know how to get that line ready. We're going to talk about that right after this. Welcome back, my name is Tammy and this is Nurse Minder and on this channel we do everything nursing. So if you're new here, consider subscribing below so that you get the next video when it's released. First thing you're going to need to gather is the correct fluid per your order and we will inspect this fluid while we have it. It comes in a plastic sleeve. We're going to open this up. Pull it out and make sure in fact it is the right fluid that is being ordered and that it has not expired which is up here in the corner. So today is May 4th, 2018. This is still good. We also want to inspect it for clarity and to make sure there are no signs of infiltrate in there and this looks like it's good. So we're going to hang this up. The next thing you need is your primary line. I'm using an Alaris pump here so I need the Smart Sight Infusion Set. If you're going to be calculating your drip rate by gravity, you'll need to note that it's 20 drops per ml for this set. We're also going to need an alcohol swab and our label. So let's go ahead and talk about this line first. The IV infusion set is a sterile one-time use latex free system for providing fluids. At the top we have our spike and it is covered by a protective sheet that keeps it sterile. The next thing we have is our vent cap. If using a bottle for infusion, we need to open the vent cap to allow air to go into the bottle for fluid to release. Following that, we have our drip chamber. In order to ensure we have the correct amount of fluid in the drip chamber, there is a line at the bottom that indicates the minimum level of fluid needed to prevent airflow going through the line. We'd like to fill that chamber about one third to half full. As we move down the line, we're visually inspecting the tubing and we'll notice that we come first to the check valve and this prevents any fluid going back up towards the bag that is currently hanging. Then we come next to our first smart site. This would be where we could attach a secondary line. As we continue down the line, we come to the blue sheet that covers the pump segment. This is the portion that will go into the Alaris pump and for now we'll keep the blue sheath on. The next thing we come to will be the roller clamp. We will use this to manipulate the flow if we are running fluid by gravity. We'll also use this to clamp off the line before we spike our bag. Finally, as we continue to inspect the line, we'll come past another smart site down to the male lure. And the male lure is also a sterile tip ready to be attached to our patient. So we're actually going to take off the catheter now. and my sterile tip is now exposed so I don't want that to touch anything. I'm also going to pull off the blue sheath here, discard, securely hold that between my thumb and index finger and I'm going to insert my sterile tip into the bag. We're going to give it a squeeze and I want some fluid in here. Okay. Now I can manage the flow all the way down to the male lure. So I've got my fluid in the drip chamber and I'm ready to let it roll. I'm going to open up my roller clamp. And you probably can't see it on the screen. But the fluid is now flowing. You can see those drips. It's now fully primed. I'm going to lock it off. At this point, you would use your sterile swab to clean off the smart site, attach a syringe, and remove any air bubbles. So now that your IV is already in the pump, we need to make sure that it's labeled. And at this lowest Y connector just before it joins, you want to have your tag, and it needs to have the date and time, but also the solution that's in there. And the reason we put it at the entry to this port is if someone is going to Y in another medication, it helps them to identify compatibility issues. And then part of your checks would be from the patient, normal saline, and you check that line all the way back, physically holding it right through the pump to the bag to make sure it says normal saline. Well, that's our lesson for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Give a thumbs up if it was helpful. Comment below and let me know what you think. And if you have some ideas for future videos, put them there as well. Be sure to subscribe. You'll be the first to know when the next video comes out. I've got some other videos populating here that you might be interested in, so 
Enjoy, and until next time, make it a great day.